Melanie with Venture Chiropractic, and today we are going to be focusing on releasing the psoas muscle during pregnancy. Uh, psoas muscle is a very large muscle group. It starts at the back of the ribs. It wraps forward, kind of like angel wings, coming down into our hips. And when that psoas muscle is tight, it may cause inability to take a nice full breath. So we might feel tight with our breath. We may be constipated. And also, we may feel like we're carrying baby high. A tight psoas muscle does not allow a baby to descend and engage, which is a necessary part of labor and delivery. You may have a perfectly positioned baby with the chin tucked, ready to go, but if baby cannot drop onto the cervix, it's going to start and stall and have issues with labor. So this is an exercise that is definitely okay to do throughout your pregnancy. Gentle stretches, uh, focusing on your breath, all that good stuff will just help you be able to focus and feel good. So what we're gonna do, I have some pillows stacked up with a yoga mat on top of them. I would suggest too, and I recommend doing these on a daily basis that you invest in a yoga bolster. They're these nice, firm, rectangular pillows that you don't have to go searching for all your pillows to stack up. Uh, so that's a great option, having some yoga mats so you get some cushions underneath your bottom, your hands and your knees, and an exercise ball. Yoga blocks are a few of the items that can really help you achieve these exercises. So for our purposes here, we're gonna have some pillows stacked on top of each other, a yoga mat rolled on top, and we are going to lower ourselves onto that yoga mat with our sit bones, those hard bones underneath our bottom, sitting on that yoga mat. We're going to fold our legs in front of us. And as we do this, I would like you to make sure you're sitting upright, raise this part up, setting your shoulder blades back, and just letting gravity pull those legs down, unwinding that psoas muscle. You may sit in this position for three to five minutes, focus on your breathing, visualize the birth, meeting your little one, for that time period as that psoas muscle unwinds. This is a position to around 38 weeks that will help baby engage onto your cervix. And I am at here to help you as well. Go through these stretches. I can do some uh, stretches with you in the office to really help baby engage as well as possible. So this is how you can do that while you use pillows and a yoga mat. You can grab your exercise ball Keep the exercise ball close to you because otherwise if it's rolling away, you're gonna to have to stretch to reach it. I do not want you to crunch downward in this position, but instead we're gonna to roll to the side of our hips. Exercise ball is close, lower onto your elbow. You can bring your legs up as you go. You're gonna hug that ball nice and close to you, keeping a 90 degree angle through your hips and your legs, your hands at your side and we're gonna focus on our breath. Breathing into our belly and out. And again, three to five minutes, you can visualize, focus on the pregnancy you're experiencing, the labor and meeting baby. And as you go and do this on a daily basis, you will find that this pocket you may have at the beginning starts to release and your back on its own is able to meet the floor. I never want you to shove and push your back to the ground while you're doing this exercise, but instead, through your breath and doing this on a regular basis, your iliopsoas muscle will release and relax, allowing your back to settle to the floor. Next, we're gonna be moving and I'm gonna show you a third alternative for a psoas release, utilizing your bed. The third modification is using the edge of your bed. I would like you to roll to your side and then roll to your back, finding your bottom at the edge of your bed. You are then going to take your hands and wrap them around your leg, bringing that leg to your chest, letting the opposite leg with gravity unwind and relax that psoas muscle as that leg drops down towards the ground. You're going to relax in this position, breathing in and out for about three to five minutes as that iliopsoas muscle unwinds. And then you're gonna drop the other leg down and do the same thing on the opposite side. This is another great alternative to relax that iliopsoas muscle utilizing the edge of your bed. I hope you found those three exercises helpful to relax a tight psoas muscle. You may do those on a daily basis so you feel better and can move better. And 
If you need some additional help, I am more than happy to help you at the office to help you through the exercises, make sure you're performing them properly. They should always feel good. If you have pain or discomfort at any time, please stop so you don't hurt yourself and ask someone how you can do these properly. I am here for you adventure to help you move better, feel better, and be a better you.